Uh, we've been going, really our season I think started last March for this year. Uh, we, we were not eligible for the playoffs, so our season ended pretty early last year. I think it was February 25th we played our last game. We basically started that next week. Uh, we're allowed that two hours a week practice with your teams through the whole spring and that uh, rule continued through the summer as an NCAA rule change that you could be with your team for two hours a week for eight weeks in the summer. We did that the whole time and then we went to Canada in August which allowed us to have ten more full-time practices before we went up there and we went up there and uh, had a scrimmage and two exhibition games. So I certainly feel our program is ahead of where it would have been without all those changes and stuff which we really needed because we're obviously just finished that transition. We're building this program, uh, and I think we're doing it the right way. It's, it's just been a long haul. I really thought we had to improve in every aspect of our program from a year ago. We, we must be a better defensive team. We must be a better rebounding team. We had some very unbalanced offensive situations last year. We relied on two players to not only do all the scoring for us, but they took the majority of the shots. And we got away from what I think USD basketball has always been, where we had a lot of guys that played and played well and were able to have five, six, seven guys at times in double figures and then we spread that scoring around and I thought it made us a lot harder to guard and we just got away from that last year and hopefully we can get back to that this year, get a little more balance inside and, and more guys scoring and get some bench play that'll improve a little bit. And I like the group that we have. Uh, it's just been a, that roster thing is, is a uh, process. You know, I think the league that we're playing in, the Summit League, isn't a league that you can just join and rush to the top. You know, some of those teams are very established in there with the Oaklands and obviously South Dakota State having as good a program as they've had for a long time basketball team-wise is outstanding in North Dakota State. So uh, I don't want to refer that we're always catching up, but it, it isn't something that you can just jump in and, and have all the answers. And we're learning what we have to do. I think we're going to build this thing the right way. It always starts with getting the right kids in the program. We're going to have a very good non-conference schedule. We're going to play three programs that everyone knows an awful lot about. Uh, with Iowa down there on December 4th, and we play Kansas State on New Year's Eve, and then uh, obviously uh, Gonzaga coming up here on the 18th. Those are really, really good programs. Gonzaga is obviously a top 20 program. and have been in the NCAA tournament quite a bit over the years, and Kansas State we played them, I think, two years ago or, or two or three years ago, and, and obviously they're a big, big time program. So those are going to highlight our non-conference things, but we've got some excellent other ones in there too. I think Wyoming out there is a difficult game. Uh, Ball State's a very quality program. We're going to play them twice, home and home, and we've been able to get a couple of those. We're going to play Wisconsin Green Bay. We open, we go there this year, but they're coming back here next year. Uh, we get more hit state back here at home and we played at their place last year and this that that will be the third year of a four-year contract that we signed with them so we're starting to get a few of those in there if we get more that's, that's really going to help us but it's going to be a, a challenging non-conference schedule if this schedule doesn't get you ready for the summer league I, i'm not sure what else we could do uh, i found out right away that that summer league is very good i think the, from the outside looking in which we did the previous years you really never fully understand how, how good it is until you get in it and you are playing those teams night in and night out. And we found out right away that is a good basketball league, a very high scoring basketball league. Uh, trying to guard some of those kids was a big challenge for us. And I think as we had better athletes and get a little bit better there, that will start meeting that challenge a little bit better. But that's going to be a good challenge for us. So there's nine teams in it right now. and. I can guarantee you we're going to be playing in Sioux Falls in March. I'll, I'll make that promise to you. They take eight, and UNO is not eligible, so we're, <laughs> we're in. Uh, but we're looking forward to that. I, I hope when we get there that our team has improved. You know, how we're going to be in November is certainly not going to be the way we're going to be in March. I think this group has a chance to get better. We're going to play some freshmen. I think they're going to get better as the year goes on. Uh, I'm excited about where we're going with this. Uh, it's been a good situation, uh, a lot of fun, a lot of changes. We play some great teams. We need our fans to get more involved. We're asking that. We're pleading with the students to get behind this team. Even when we're not playing good, we need you there. Grow with this team. Don't come on board. If, if once we get it going, be there right from the beginning. And I would ask all the fans and the media, if you watch this team from beginning to end, and you watch them closely, you'll see this team complete, compete. They'll play hard, and they'll have their struggles. And hopefully they'll have some, some good wins along the way too and we're just going to keep building this thing. But.